Good morning, everyone. I am Brandon Gator at, Gator at Gator Property Service, and today I'm at a ICF home building site, and they have a pile of trash that I'm going to have to haul off. So this is an ICF build. It has foam walls, and then they pour concrete in the middle. You can see this is this is the house coming up. They've got all the concrete floor done. And I guess they're working on the walls next. And here's our trash pile. There's a lot of just styrofoam and building materials. And this time, there's a lot of metal. So I think with this metal, I need to separate it somehow and take it off as scrap. Because look at all this. I think that'd be a good scrap amount I can save and take off to the scrap yard. Let's get it all loaded up here and hold off. So here we go, we got a full load. This is all the non-metal stuff. And here's the metal I have left. So there's quite a bit of it left. At least probably a quarter of a trailer load. There's the back of it. And then around this side. To load this full trailer, it took me 34 minutes. 
I've got my House Call Pro app and it tracks how long it took me to get here, then how long I've actually been working. It took me, I think, 48 minutes to get here, maybe. Now I've just got to tarp this up and head to the dump, then come back and load up all the metal. Then we'll probably go to the scrapyard today. I've never done the scrap before, but this is a pretty good amount, so it's probably worth going now versus waiting. This tarp something I couldn't do this business without. That was the first upgrade I did to the trailer. Me and my father-in-law, well, I guess he did it. He welded all this on, and we attached this tarp kit to the trailer. It didn't come with one, so that's definitely one of the biggest upgrades I did. Now we're back here at the drop site. I've got all this metal left to pick up. These big poles, rebar, and these cages, like the cattle panel stuff. So let's get it all loaded up and head home for the day. So there is the junk pile all cleaned up. This looks like stuff they're using, pipe and foam and boards and a bender thing there. So there's where all the junk was. Now here's all the metal in the trailer. Looks to be about a quarter load, that's what I'm gonna call it. Not quite a half. We're gonna go to the land, or not the landfill, the um, scrap yard sometime and sell all this for scrap. One day this week, probably tomorrow or Thursday. Today is Tuesday. So now we're gonna head to the house and run some errands this evening. So for today's job, it took me, I guess an hour and a half of driving. That's 45 minutes here and 45 minutes home. It took me two and a half hours of loading up the junk, driving to the landfill, dumping, driving back here, then loading up all the metal. That was two and a half hours of actual labor and driving. So actual labor is probably only about an hour of like hands-on labor, picking up stuff. Um, for the first load, it was a full load. That's $300 is what I charge. And I don't know what my dump fee was. I get charged $35 a ton. It probably wasn't even half a ton. So the second load was the metal and I'm charging a quarter load on it, a quarter of a load on it, which is 175. So my total charge for this job is $475. It took me basically four hours to do it. That's counting driving and actual manual labor. But only about an hour of that was manual labor. So fuel, I probably have maybe 30 bucks in it or so, 30, $40, somewhere around there. So a good $430, $40 profit day. It's always good, it's what we like having. Tomorrow I've got another weed eating job for the same lady in Alter Springs. Um, and then Thursday I have a gravel job and one of those days I'm gonna have to go take all this scrap to the scrap yard and I've got some more metal at my house I'm gonna take. Also, next week there won't be any videos we're going to the beach so we'll be gone all next week on vacation this past weekend we went to a cabin in west tennessee so we had a little small vacation this weekend jackson did good he did good driving and he had a good time there he didn't really know he was there but you know what i mean he 
had a good time, behaved pretty well, wasn't too much of a mess. Um, next week we're going to the beach, going to Dolphin Island, and um, we're going to probably split up our driving day, that way it ain't a full driving day on Jackson. But it should be fun, it'll be his first, first time going to the ocean going to the beach and he's he won't remember it but we'll have the memory with him and everything so it'll be good I should have a fun week and a decent week before our vacation if you'd like to see our adventure from this past weekend to the cabin in West Tennessee we went to Natchez Trace State Park I have another YouTube channel called so happy to Gaylor and that's our like family channel so we show all of our adventures plus our home life and like homesteading type stuff so if you want to head over there i'll put a link down below and check out our adventure this weekend i may film next weekend at the beach some so be looking for a video for that too thanks for watching and see y'all next time bye